the inside as she caught it at the free throw line, saw the daylight and took it right to the hole. Welcome back here this weekend, uh, Buffs basketball. Hey, Coach Lynn Delappy here. I'm Corey Lopez. Uh, one and one run through the weekend here for the Buffs as we get set to head off to Southern California and take on UCLA and USC. I want to talk about Saturday night or uh, uh, Friday night, that is. What a great crowd. That's probably the biggest crowd that we've seen, thanks to State Farm. They, they really got out and got a lot of people out there for us. Yeah, huge thanks to State Farm. Uh, they, have, they host a game every single year. They give away tickets. Uh, they purchase tickets and give them away to their uh, clients. And I and, uh, was happy to see so many uh, great fans there, and they got to see a really good game and, and wish we could have pulled it out. but. Uh, uh, we played well and, and just a good game for fans to see. Yeah, real inspirational too. The KMAC uh, t-shirts that uh, all the players had on during warm-ups and stuff, that was kind of cool to see. You know, it was uh, an unfortunate circumstance and, and uh, you know, obviously, um, you know, when, when you put those on, they, it has a bigger uh, bigger meaning than, than just wearing the t-shirt. And, and our players uh, wanted to wear those shirts in, in honor of, of Kyle and his family and, and you know that's what we were we were fighting that day for uh, not only for our team and, and to win but we were fighting also for for him and really acknowledging the fight that that he put up to, to face cancer. I talked about this so often being my first year really following you guys in the fact that the players really do get the history the tradition of what Buffs basketball is all about and Really, I think the T-shirts just being a part of it's not just putting on the T-shirt. I mean, they're very smart, um, almost worldly players understanding uh, what this is all about and, and what they're trying to carry on. Yeah, our players have a really good wherewithal. Um, you know, they, they understand what's going on in the world. They understand what's going on at Colorado. They, um, they're not just basketball players. They're, they're really neat young women who are going to be far greater than what they, whatever they do on the basketball court. And, um, that was just one example of, of one of the reasons why. Yeah. Uh, tough loss to number 11, Arizona State there. Uh, they have moved up in the ranks, by the way. They're number 10, so there's two Pac-12 teams in the top 10. Uh, uh, Oregon State is staying at number 7. Then you played Arizona, a team that you have traditionally handled, but in this season you kind of wondered going into it. You guys took care of business. It was your three seniors, too. Yeah, you know, Arizona is, is, a, is a talented team. They've played everybody tight. Uh, they play hard. They don't give up. Um, you got to credit our three seniors for, for stepping up. I, I think particularly Jasmine Sporov and, and Lexi Kressel for, uh, for what they were able to do from, from the guard position. Um, you know, Jazz had a near triple-double, uh, had a double-double, but probably one of her best games of the year. Um, you know, three assists shy of, of an unbelievable feat. So, uh, and then Lexi Kressel from the point position, being able to run our team and, and hit some key, key shots for us, uh, both in the first half and down the stretch. So. Um, yeah, really, really happy with, with how all three of them played. Jen Reese stepping up, hitting some, hitting some good shots uh, as well. And they really are, they, they have to lead our team right now as, as they head into the last month of their seasons uh, and their careers. We want them to be able to step up and, and really just uh, lead everybody else in, into, uh, into the last part of the season. We've seen some of your younger players kind of step in from time to time. They don't mind following these three. I mean, these, these are good players, smart players. They really do look up to them. Yeah, and, and they work hard. I think that's the other piece of it mm -hmm. is, um, you know, they've played a lot of games in, in a Colorado uniform. And uh, any time that you have three seniors with the amount of experience that, that our three seniors have, that bodes well for your team as you head into to, to the last part of conference. And I really like how we're playing right now. Uh, we're playing our best basketball of the year, um, which isn't always the case in, in February and March. I, I always tell people you're either probably playing your worst or your best mm. in February, and we always want to be playing our best, and I really believe we are, and uh, we're, in a, we're in a great position as, as, uh, as we head to the L.A. schools this weekend. We can look back that maybe the UCLA game here in Boulder might have been part of that turning point where you guys were a good basketball team, and you you've started that climb now and now you get a chance to see UCLA. I know it's on their home court in Westwood, but at the same time, boy, you guys really wanted another shot at them. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it was the turning point uh, for our season, you know, with about 10 minutes left uh, in the first half, we decided that we were uh, going to be really good and uh, just watched that film again and, and we were really bad the first 10 minutes. We couldn't catch yeah. the ball, we couldn't make a shot, <laughs> couldn't get stops, um, but then we flipped a switch and, and from that point of the season forward, uh, we've been playing really well together, uh, much better defensively, 
much better offensively. Things are starting to click for us, and we still have to get better in, in certain areas. We have to become better, uh, a better rebounding team, making sure that, that we take care of business on the boards. We've been taking care of the basketball a little bit better, but we have to continue that. Um, so some things that we can definitely keep improving on if we want to do what we want to do, um, but we're, we're in a good spot. It'll be UCLA on Friday. It'll be an 8 o'clock tip mountain time. And uh, you can hear that on the radio. You can, you'll can you be able to find it out there, but it's not on the Pac-12 network. So, again, about 8 o'clock mountain time. And then it's 1 o'clock tip mountain time on Sunday as uh, they take on USC. And that'll be on TV, so you can watch that. Uh, players playing within themselves, too. I mean, th there is a lot on the line, uh, you know, for us media people, we can go back and look at the stats and look at all that. I think you guys have done a great job of focusing in on the game at hand that is coming up. Um, but they understand what's at stake, right, going out to L.A.? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're trying to have a really special season, and there's not much time left, you know. So at the same time, you can't put added pressure on yourself. Um, but you have to look at every game being, being uh, an important day um, and, and every practice being really important to help prepare for that game. And uh, we want to go into every game you know, as the most prepared team in the conference. And uh, if we feel like if we can do that, then, then we have a great shot to come out with a win. Okay, that'll be fun. We'll see you out in LA. All right, thanks. Okay, that's head coach Linda Lappi. I'm Corey Lopez. Make sure you check us out at cubuffs.com. You can find us on Buffs Vision, as always, each and every week right here.